as observed from the bridge of the USS Cape St. George. The cyan sky houses a yellow sun and cotton clouds as it archers over azure seas and the foam-flecked northeast wind. Zephyrs carry seagulls, terns. Turks' heads hang from mastheads. Dolphins porpoise in the aerated wake, ride the bow wave, slap the seas. 18 miles in all directions, and alone for 20 more by radar's fix. Green turns yellow, echoes shaping square, announcing here, now. Yellow fades to blue, sea clutter, nothing more. Spouts of breath rise to starboard, a distinctive V, one blowhole. No worries, just a whale, all ahead full. I stand my watch with a billion gray dollars beneath my feet. Aegis, Tomahawk, Spy, Seawiz, LM2500 gas turbine engines, alone on stage with 100,000 horses at my beck and call. Charts change, blue turns midnight, <clears throat> interspersed with crimson and green as the last vestiges of the direct sun curve through the lens of the atmosphere, then black. No proscenium to hide behind, only a thin curtain ringed by the Milky Way. Eyes fixed above, sextant in front, Betelgeist, Arcanix, Orion, Polaris, Ursa, Sirius, Andromeda. I am ready to relieve you, sir. I am not ready to be relieved. Uh, next poem is the uh, first one I actually got published in the Wilderness House. The title is Eden, a brothel near Gdynia. I buy you for a table dance. Watch your breasts swing to Europop. Smell your sex from inches. Three minutes of gyration for ten dollars a minute, no touching, strictly enforced. Or for twenty bucks I can have you for up to an hour, if it takes that long. It won't. But that requires more risk, and really I can't enjoy it. Besides, I am a married, faithful, naive American. I buy you for three minutes at a time, so I can see myself as a benevolent rescuer, not the John. I leave at sunrise, just after four this far north. Witness dozens of others like me, slouching shipward, Eyes cast down, souls lagging behind in long early morning shadows. Mm -hmm.